At least 30 children have died from the flu this season. The latest is believed to be a boy in Palm Beach County, Florida. Manuel Bohorkas has more on this. Mike Medwin met us today after doing the unthinkable, making funeral arrangements for his 12-year-old stepson, Dylan Winnick. He seemed like he was somewhat sick, but he, you, you never thought it would come to this clearly. This is a lightning strike, how I've, uh, I've described it. No indications, no warnings, just a, just a common cold. That's what's so scary about it. He says doctors told him it was actually the flu. Winnick had not gotten the flu shot. While the medical examiner has yet to rule on the cause of his death, at least three other children have died from flu-related illnesses so far this season in Florida, 30 nationwide, more than what's typically expected this early in the year. In one school district along the Florida panhandle, 20 percent of students are out sick, forcing officials to cancel classes Friday to scrub down the campus. We think that it truly makes good sense on behalf of all of our kids to, to take this proactive step. Hospitals like Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center are being inundated with new patients. Dr. Jamie Snarsky says beds have even been set up in conference rooms to accommodate them. We're seeing about 20 to 40 patients more than our normal this time of year, so, so that's a lot. You must be thinking, where's the peak? Are we even there yet? Yeah, we've been busy, um, so you wonder, is it going to get worse? Um, when will it start petering off? We just don't know at this time. Pediatric centers like this one are also busy, and while it's an aggressive flu season, it's not the deadliest. No reason to panic, doctors say, but still time to get a flu shot. Jeff? Manny, thank you.